Hello everybody, welcome to my channel is Math with STSS. I'm your teacher uh, Deepak Srestha from is Math with STSS and today I have a new piece of video on congruency of triangle. So without any delay, let's begin the topic. So you can see it here. So first of all, let's have a look at congruency. So those figures which have same shape as well as same size are called congruent figures. So you can see it here. So both the figures have same shape and same size. It means so here one figure exactly overlaps on another one. So they are congruent to each other. So the figures with same shape and same size are called congruent figures. Now we have five conditions for triangles being congruent to each other. And they are yes, 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 side, side, side. Yes, yes, side angle side, RHS, right angle hypotenuse and side, AAS, angle angle side, or we can see it as uh, SA also, side angle angle, and at last it's ASC, angle side angle. So, first of all, let's move with the condition yes, yes, yes. So, here you can see all the corresponding sides of triangle ABC are equal to the corresponding part of triangle PQR. So here you can see it here. Uh, AV, side AV is equal to side PQ. You can see it here. Similarly, side BC is equal to side PQ, sorry QR. So you can see it here. And side AC is equal to side PR. So these two triangles are congruent from yes, yes, yes. So you can see it here. So here let's find out the corresponding parts of the triangle. So here uh, the corresponding part of AV is PQ, the corresponding side of AV is PQ. Similarly, PR is AC, you can see it here. AC and PR are corresponding sides and BC and QR. So these are corresponding sides. So now let's find the angles. So for angle, you can, uh, so first of all, let's find the equal side. Here you can see AV is equal to side PQ. So we say this angle opposite to AB that's angle C and here is R mm -hmm. so they are corresponding angles mm -hmm. so angle C mm -hmm. and angle R mm -hmm. uh, similarly mm -hmm. the another one is uh, QR and BC you can see it here the corresponding side of BC is in QR and the angle opposite to BC is angle A and here it's P so angle A and angle P are corresponding angles and at last So you can see it here, the side opposite to AC is PR, you can see it here, and the angle opposite to AC is angle V, and here it's Q. So we say the corresponding angle of angle B is angle Q. So in this way, so these are the corresponding parts. So these are the ways how to find corresponding part. So now let me move on the another one, another condition that is yes, a yes. So here you can see two of the corresponding sides are equal to the corresponding side of triangle PQR. You can see it here, AV is equal to PQ. So you can see it here and similarly side BC is equal to side QR. So 
So you can see it here. And the angle included between AV and BC is the angle ABC. And here the angle included between angle sorry, side PQ and QR is PQR, angle PQR. So if these two angles are equal, then we say these two triangles are congruent from SAS. So just make sure two of the corresponding sides are equal and the angle included between them is also equal. So if you say here angle P is equal to angle A, then it won't work. So they will not be congruent. So be, just make sure that the angle that you have taken should be included between the sides, the corresponding sides that you have taken. So that is the main thing. So now let's move on corresponding parts. So here uh, the remaining one is AC here. So you can see it here AC and here it is PR. So the corresponding side of AC is PR. So now let's move an angle. So here uh, side BC is equal to side QR. So opposite to BC is angle A you can see it here and opposite to QR is angle P. So angle A and angle P are corresponding angles. Similarly, so here you can see AV is equal to PQ and the angle opposite to AV is angle C you can see it here and here it's R. So angle C and angle R are corresponding angles. So now let's move on the another part and that's RHS right angle hypotenuse and side. So to be congruent from RHS, just make sure both of the triangles are right angle triangle. And just being right angle triangle doesn't make sure that they are congruent from RHS. And the next one is your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side that is opposite to right angle. And the corresponding hypotenuse should be equal to each other. So there are two conditions, two main conditions. One is both of the triangles should be right angle triangle. You can see it here. Both should be right angle triangle. So this is the main condition. And another main condition is their hypotenuse should be equal. And now we need another side. So you can see here QR is equal to BC or we can say PQ is equal to AV also. It will also work. So if you take any one of the side corresponding side then they will be congruent from RHS so let's have a look on it so this one is a right angle similar this one is hypotenuse And this one is side. So, uh, in so let me take one example here. this one and here it's right angle triangle and its hypotenuse is equal to another triangle and here let me say this angle is equal to another one so let me make another one also so here you can see both are right angle triangle and their hypotenuse are equal but it doesn't mean that they are congruent from RHS because here the side is missing. So don't be confused that just both the triangles are congruent and their hypotenuse are equal. Doesn't mean that they are always congruent from RHS. 
it may be other condition also here you can see it's angle angle side so please don't get confused on that so now let me move on the corresponding part so here you can see the remaining side is AB and here it's uh, PQ so the corresponding side of AB is PQ you can see it here now let us move on angle so just opposite to AB is angle C and here just opposite to Q so PQ is angle R so angle C and angle R are corresponding angles and similarly angle opposite to BC is angle A and here BC is equal to QR and the angle opposite to QR is angle P so angle A and angle P are corresponding angles so these were the remaining corresponding parts of triangle ABC and triangle PQR so now let me move on another condition and that's yes AA or we can say it's AAS also so here we need two of the angles two of the corresponding angles equal to the another two corresponding angles of another triangle you can see it here so you can see angle ABC is equal to angle PQR just have a look similarly angle ACB is equal to angle PRQ now here there are three sides and among these three sides here BC and QR are the included side because here you can see inside BC angle B and angle C is find we can find angle B and angle C and side BC so this is the included side and here you can see AV and AC are non included side and here it is PQ and PR so among these two sides we can take any one just I have taken here AV and PQ it doesn't mean that we cannot take AC and PR so among these two so if we take any one of the sides corresponding side then these two triangle will be congruent from ESA but if we take BC and QR then it doesn't mean that it won't be congruent it will be congruent but from another condition so to be con congruent from ESA here we should take two corresponding angles and one non included side so now let's move on the corresponding part so here you can see the remaining angle is angle A and here it's angle P so they are corresponding angles now let's move on side just opposite to angle A is BC you can see here BC and here it's QR so BC and QR are corresponding sides similarly so here just opposite to Q angle Q is PR you can see it here it's PR and here it's AC which is opposite to angle B so here we have taken AC because angle B and angle Q are equal to each other so just to have seen it earlier so here you can see AC and PR are corresponding sides so in this way we can find the corresponding parts under the condition SA so now let's move on another condition and that's ASA so here also just like as previous we have previously we have taken just we are taking two angles two corresponding angles and uh, let me take another angle and that's angle ACB which is equal to angle PRQ okay. 
So previously also we have taken these two angles, two corresponding angles, but the difference between the previous one and this one is previously we have taken non-included side that was AV and PQ and here we are taking the included side and which the angle B and angle C are formed that is BC and QR. So this is the included side in this way. So if we take the included side then it will be congruent from AAC. It's AAC. Previously it was AAS and just now it's AAS. So here also let's find the corresponding parts. You can see it here. Angle P and angle A are remaining one. So the corresponding angle of angle A is angle P. Now let's move on side. So here you can see angle B and angle Q are equal and just opposite to B is AC and here just opposite to Q is PR. So AC and PR are corresponding sides and similarly angle C and angle R are equal just we have seen it all here. Just opposite to angle C is AB and just opposite to angle R is PQ. So AB and PQ are also corresponding sides. So, so this much for today. This was all about congruency of triangles and just how to find the corresponding parts. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it will be beneficial for you also. So let's hope we'll be uh, meeting soon on next piece of video. So this much for today.